Welcome to the Leather Journey. Tonight, uh, we're going to talk about um, a topic or a type of a relationship called a domestic discipline. Uh, I had the wonderful opportunity to visit with a couple and actually Moodstone and myself have been friends with for uh, coming up on almost two decades. But, and I knew they were both in, into spanking and uh, loved to go to spanko parties and that kind of thing. But I didn't really understand the dynamic of their relationship, other than I knew they were 24 uh, seven. But they described it to me as domestic discipline. So what is that? Well, I'm gonna read you just a little bit about the profile that uh, that the bottom has written about. Uh, he says, I live in a 24 seven female led DSDD relationship. I have covenants, chores, duties, and rules to live by. I'm kept totally nude whenever in the house. I receive discipline spankings whenever she deems necessary and regular or randomly scheduled maintenance spankings. Uh, and I, I recently did a video for uh, the spanking playlist on this channel and discussed three types of spankings, play spankings, uh, maintenance spankings, and discipline spankings. So as described in this domestic discipline relationship, you see just in the description of uh, the brief description of the relationship, there's an opportunity there for discipline spankings. Uh, if if the uh, the bottom in the relationship breaks the covenants or the rules or displeases the mistress uh, or the man, uh, and there's an opportunity for maintenance spankings. And uh, so it, it's interesting. It's an interesting dynamic. I know this couple have been together for about a decade, probably. Yeah, it's coming up on a decade or maybe more. And they're, they're deeply committed to each other. They're deeply in love. Uh, but they have a certain dynamic that they live by. And... Um, the male is very happy. Uh, it's negotiated. It's all consensual. Uh, but they live in a, uh, he lives in a uh, female dominated 24-7 uh, living setting where he abides by her wishes and her rules. And, uh, and they get along, they get along marvelously. So it's interesting. I think, you know, when we talk about uh, domestic discipline, it, the, the roles could be reversed, certainly. And the male could be uh, the, the dominant and the female could be uh, the person that's following rules. And I, I have a little different dynamic with Moodstone. I cl clarify mine more as a 50s household type relationship. And we'll talk about the 50s household and every relationship is unique just as everyone's leather journey is unique but i know there's been quite an interest in spanking on the channel and different aspects of spanking and this is an aspect of a, a spanking oriented type relationship that is carried out in a 24 7 setting um, I know from my experience that there's a, a subset. I wouldn't necessarily say they're necessarily BDSM, but there's a subset of spanking uh, or this domestic discipline that applies religious rules to it, and they call it Christian domestic discipline. Um, so regardless of your religious background, it may or may not apply to the application of the relationship but certainly, uh, and certainly doesn't in the case of the couple that I'm, that I'm sharing with you about tonight, but they're a delightful couple, uh, and, and he has a blog and, uh, and writes about 
uh, his experiences in the relationship. So it's just another something to consider as you explore spanking, as you explore uh, your own particular leather journey. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.